Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 550. Oxygen Deprivation. What is hypoxemia? Hypoxemia is when you have a decrease in the partial pressure of the arterial oxygen content. This basically just means that there's not enough oxygen inside the blood and blood vessels. Name some conditions in which you would have a normal AA gradient but still hypoxemia. You would have normal AA gradient hypoxemia when the problem is the oxygen that is entering the lungs is not sufficient. So in this, the problem is before the oxygen has to cross the AA gradient. And conditions that can lead to normal AA gradient hypoxemia includes high altitude where there's not enough oxygen and hypoventilation where you're not intaking enough oxygen. Name some conditions that would lead to hypoxemia with an increase in the AA gradient. An increase in the AA gradient does lead to hypoxemia as we mentioned earlier in the chapter. And these causes include right to left shunt such as with tetralogy of Fallot, VQ mismatch and diffusion limitations such as fibrosis. What is hypoxia? Hypoxia is the problem in oxygen delivery to the tissue. What are some causes of hypoxia? Hypoxia can occur due to decrease in cardiac output. When the heart is not pumping sufficient blood, it's not going to allow the blood to get to where it needs to go, therefore leading to hypoxia. Hypoxemia can also lead to hypoxia because if there is not enough oxygen in the blood, whatever blood that's going to get to the tissue is not going to also have enough oxygen, therefore leading to hypoxia. Anemia can lead to hypoxia because if there's not enough red blood cells, this again will also lead to hypoxia because there's not going to be enough oxygen that's coming on those red blood cells to the tissues. Also carbon monoxide poisoning will also lead to hypoxia because there is sufficient amount of blood that will be going to tissues, but it's not going to have oxygen. It's actually going to have carbon monoxide. So therefore it can't use it and therefore leading to hypoxia of the tissue. What is ischemia? Ischemia is the loss of blood flow to the tissue. How does ischemia lead to oxygen deprivation? Ischemia caused by an embolus or a clot will impede the arterial flow. Therefore, the blood is not able to get to its tissue, leading to oxygen deprivation. Also, a reduction in the venous drainage can also lead to oxygen deprivation because if blood can't exit the capillary bed, then that means that no blood can enter it either, hence leading to oxygen deprivation. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.